perfect. So this is like a bit weak to blitzers, right? This setup. It's not the yeah. best blitz. Not not the best. Not the best setup you could have. You're pretty weak on the flanks if if this goes either side. Yeah. Um, with a blitz, this is a pretty shit setup. But there was never. We never did the offensive setups. So could do that in Blood Bowl three. You know, could do all the Blood Bowl three videos. Yeah, then, uh... yeah. We never. We never really did. Uh go into those did we not really this was just before you rediscovered league and <laughs> abandoned <laughs> blood bowl for nearly ever <laughs> nearly ever what do you mean i'm here well, nearly ever now you're back now you're back so yeah. it's, not, it's not ever it was it was only nearly ever <laughs> forever ever 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 <laughs> all right so now quick snap you've got to um not end the turn. I guess I guess now you can just end the turn and it won't actually end the turn. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cuz that messed me up. What was that? Like my first game that really messed me up. Yeah, I think it's like if you if you've got 5 players free, for example, mm -hmm. and it says you can move 6, after you move 5, it automatically ends the event. And then the end of the turn switches to end your actual turn. Yeah. So if you just press it like too fast or not fast enough or whatever, then it just fucks you. Oh god, I forgot fend. I forgot fend on everybody. <laughs> I know, I was just looking at that, I was like, wait, what is this? Oh, it's so annoying. It's so annoying that it's just not automatic. Oh, I keep <laughs> I keep trying to click it. <laughs> it's literally so annoying. Oh wait, that was my blitzer. Fuck. That's that's a little awkward. Um, we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll blitz the other side now. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I almost just did it again. Uh, that would have been really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's all, it's, it, it should be automatic except versus Frenzy, right? Frenzy is the only time it doesn't need to be automatic. But instead, they've made it every single block. Ugh. Uh... Hot ogre on ogre action. Ooh, spicy. Ah, <laughs> uh, but he only gets a push, though. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I think I stay. Look at me being smart, not getting my ogre trapped. Well done. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh god! Oh fuck! I've got to put the, got to put the auto clicker on. I, can't, I literally <laughs> can't play without it. I just can't. That's been the biggest, biggest thing. Like upgrade to, uh, to this game for me is, is just it means I can play it without that. I just couldn't. Thanks for lurking. Is I seeing you again though? Yeah. Thanks. It's good to see you in chat too. I appreciate it. It's called. Yeah. Okay, what is, um, I guess I still very much struggle both on offense and defense. Oh my god, my cat just like fell off his cat tree. <laughs> but, but, um, <laughs> what, <laughs> he is so clumsy. What, like, um, how, I guess how making thoughts is difficult. <laughs> Right? It, people don't even realize how hard it is to speak English, I swear. Um, like, it's it's so difficult to, like, control the field, you know? Mm. And so, especially well, on thinking... offense, it's like, how do you, like, I know it depends on your team as well, but, like, how do you go into, like, an offensive half? What, do you go into it with a plan, or do you just go into it seeing what happens? I never have a plan. Amazing. Never, ever, okay. Ever plan. Do you yeah. have like I'm a? 
a sniffle of a, a sniffling of a plan? Like, do you know kind of what you want to do? Like, does it does it vary based on like bash or elves? Like, with elves, do you play one way versus like a bash team, you play another way? It's entire yeah. It's entirely dependent on the individual teams mm -hmm. and the individual situations, and it's just all adapting to everything on the fly. I never ever ever plan anything, so I will do things differently. I guess I will plan to do a dacker sometimes. I guess that's as close as the thing. You know? Do you know dacker's? Yeah, that's when you just take the ball and you just run to your end zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I will plan to dacker sometimes. Um, and obviously that that is pretty much only something you can do if you like your high movement or high agility or both so you can't like you know you can't do like an orc daka right that would just be fucking stupid what so... if i get dodge on all my orcs jim <laughs> no. <laughs> no no do not do that <laughs> what do you mean? Um, That'd be amazing <laughs> <laughs> well it, it kind of would in a way but one of the things about it is there's a the TV limit means that it would be a bit worse. And also, oh, what's the, the TV that, limit? So you're limited to like eighteen uh, hundred TV, which is quite a lot to be fair. It's probably higher than you've usually got. Mm -hmm. But um, but with that with that being the limit, um, and also doubles cost like forty now. Instead of uh, thirty, so doubles. Uh, you know, like so, secondary skills, like oh, like secondary dodge, skills. right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So because they because they made the change to the, to yeah, so I still call them doubles. Um, so secondary skills cost forty instead of thirty. So there really are a lot of TV to to spam dodge. Yeah. Would be, uh, somewhat unrealistic so so i guess the the thing about um oh do you know what? i took a screenshot i took a screenshot and then i was gonna like use some kind of on, on my on my phone last night and i was gonna use some kind of editor to show you like you know what you should have done oh uh, like, yeah you know, you yeah the ball. but um but then i but then i lost all power <laughs> like i hadn't charged my phone i i fucking hate it right i'm lying in bed and i've got my bloody phone on and like i'm not uh -huh. charging it and it goes down to five percent uh -huh. like, oh, okay well i'll charge it then and then it goes to seven and then it, the fucking whole thing goes and it's like oh my god if i just bloody started charging it i would have been fine <laughs> and then so the bloody the next day the, the bloody you know what's it called the electric company comes around and, mm -hmm. But then they gave me they gave me a, a power bank. So that was nice then, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. They're like you can keep that, and I was like, good because <laughs> anything you want, like like torches or blankets. I'm like, <laughs> I, I, need, I need my mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, such a such a zoomer. You can't live without your phone, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. And then I got really fucking cold. And I was like, well, do you know what I mean? I don't really need a blanket, do I? But it would be, <laughs> I wouldn't have minded one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so cold today. Unbelievable. Yeah, are you I guys wasn't even cold. Are you guys getting hit with, uh, like, that Arctic storm that has come over? I guess it, yeah, a little bit, yeah. isn't too close to you guys yet, I guess. No, it's a little bit like it was. It was. It was all like icy and snowy and everything today. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, I guess it makes a big difference not having the heating on at all. <laughs> yeah, that sounds miserable. Yeah. So yeah, I guess like you know, there's like I thought one thing could be, but like, like uh, Shawnee always talked. Was it Shawnee? Might have been Shawnee. It was like talking about connections and stuff like. Uh, mm -hmm. Dio, you know, so like if you've got here, oh, you can't see my mouse at all. I'll tell you what, I'll share, I'll share the game so that you can, can you, could, can you look at that in like yeah, on yeah, Discord? Yeah. If I do, yeah. um, Just what are you doing, right, look all three. Yeah. So like, uh, if like, for example, you've you've got this right, you've got that as a as a screen, right? Oh, but, hold on, you are sharing your screen. <laughs> I was about to say, you're not sharing your screen! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, like, the, these two at the side here are, like, making a screen, right? Yeah. And then, but then, 
what what's a good thing then is to have like another player if you'd had another player here then if that guy went down you would still like have a screen with him and him and stuff oh, and then yeah. this guy's there and there and this guy's here and here yeah I and like it's all about over. like yeah you're right yeah it's all about like interlocking and stuff yeah and uh and like there's better ways like it's i mean this is still pretty good for you right because you've got this guy down here so this guy down here and this guy here like you you've got so many players at the point of attack that like it i'm not saying that it would have been better to move the catcher actually it might not have even been better because i've got players there that could like done a one day or whatever i guess the catcher mm. could be one diagonally up one is maybe better yeah. but i guess it's like thinking about different different things so it could do like i mean this is a bit of a harder video to do because i'd actually have to think about it do you know what i mean whereas yeah. Most things are like kind of uh, they're easy to do off the cuff, but it's like actually pretty hard, I think, to think about things. Yeah, I think I think more so, like you said, going through the scenarios would be would answer a lot of those questions in a way. It's like like specifically like okay, s say you're elves and you're going up against a bash team in a full cage. Like, what do you do? You know? Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Interesting. It's it's not going to be easy. Like that, 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 that's what I think. I think it's like hard mm -hmm. to kind of think of um, examples of things mm -hmm. like off the top of your head. You know what I mean? Like, where is it? So that would be a good thing to just like play games and then be like, ah, yeah. right, this is happening. Like, like that happened the other day, didn't it? When you would like, mm -hmm. you got into a bit of a pickle. Yeah. And it would have been a, a really good turn to be like. Well, what do you do here and yeah i feel like it's quite common to like what happened yeah it probably is it yeah. probably is yeah i think it's a genuinely good idea the the youtube stuff you're talking about cool i like it let's do it glorious glorious <laughs> i'm gonna one d you here <sighs> not pals diced the only okay. players that went down with a, was a wrestle. <laughs> Get shit on! <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, oh man, it is interesting. Like, it's it's really hard. Like, because because like you know nobody's written blood bowl books and stuff. And I, there is a guy who's done like the thousand losses playbook and stuff. But like, mm -hmm. you know, like with chess and that, you've got like you've had people for like hundreds of years dedicating their lives to it, writing books, reading books that other people have dedicated their lives to, dedicating their lives to it, writing more books, reading more books, writing more books, and, and like, intense study, and there's nothing like that for Blood Bowl, there's just some nerds yeah. who played it for a few years. So, so, most of us just think of it, and like, you know, we're good, and then we don't really think about it, we just play it, and play it, and play it, and play it, and then yeah. <laughs> someone says, well, well, how do you do this? And it's like, well, I don't know, I just, like, I don't have a plan, you know, like, keep an eye on the turns, I guess, knowing what turn it is. Yeah. And, and getting forward, there was a great example on the official cast, not the official cast, actually, my cast, of Plotinus versus Devo, and Plotinus had dwarves, and Devo had orcs, and he, like, he served somebody, and he, like, I think he ran or, like, KO'd one as well, so he was, like, two men up with mm. orcs, who have, like, a strength advantage, just as much guard, and more, so they had just as much guard and more strength than the dwarves, and they were faster. Uh -huh. And he just didn't get forward. He just punched. He just punched and punched and punched and punched, and didn't get forward. Wait, is this my? Is this your turn? Is this my I, turn? I mess. I messed this up. I messed this up big time. I thought there was a chain here to move your ogre off, but um, actually, I need another player, and I blocked where I need to get the player to make it happen the second way. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I was like, it's like nothing's happening. I was like, wait a minute, is it? Is no, just not the, end of my turn? the, no, the, the wheels struggle. were turning in my head. Um, they just were turning well. <laughs> just saying, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> here's here's what I'm gonna do instead. We're just gonna okay. we're just gonna you're gonna hate this. <laughs> He's gonna yolo. <laughs> Co-author a book. I mean. I'm not saying that I know how to write a book, but what I'm saying is it's like it's just hard to like think of those things because they haven't been done, right? Like that mm -hmm. that's the problem, I guess. It's like how do you scope the drive? I mean that's 
that's a big subject that no one's you know even started to think about i guess right people would just mm -hmm. play and then like they know you've got to get forward so, so yeah so the point was that david just hadn't got forward and there was a turn where he just had to get forward and he just made a big old long line of orcs and it was it looked funny mm -hmm. but like it didn't achieve anything and then like sure enough a couple of turns later he hasn't got forward and i don't know if he scored or not to be honest but um he was you know he was a lot better than plotness he was a lot better at blood bowl than plotness and he, his team was better and he removed players to make it even better. But because he just didn't get forward, he ended up like going overtime and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, like, you know, just knowing you've got to get forward at some point. But that's <laughs> hard. Really... It's hard to do. Mm. It's really yeah, hard. You've... Yeah, you've generally, well, I guess, so what you've got to do, you've got to kind of like, with like dumb teams, like, you know, mm -hmm. orcs and stuff. And dwarves, you've kind of like got to pile in at some point where, you know, you you're outnumbering them or outguarding them in such a way that you don't just get all of your guys knocked down. Do you know what I mean? Like often, mm -hmm. uh, you see people and they just they just you know they base up and all like uh, Plotness was just basing up and all of his guys were getting knocked down. But I guess because all David was doing was knocking them down, he wasn't getting forward, so it kind of worked for him in a way. <laughs> it's really hard, really hard to um. I'm quantify. struggling here to figure out what the best thing here is, um, by the way, so... <laughs> Just give up. <laughs> yeah. Give up sometimes. Co-author co a book with art, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Mindless blocking is not sensible, but sometimes a red dice is worthwhile. Yeah, I guess it's just hard. Like, you guys also have the experience that, like, as a new player, it's hard to get that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, and like we just because we've just done it, we just kind of like know it. Mm -hmm. So it's a hard thing. Oh god, that's a hard thing to like teach stuff that you just know, isn't it? There was somebody was saying about like uh, not to not to actually make this comparison, but you know, like people like say uh, Michael Jordan doesn't make a good teacher because he can't teach somebody how to practice. Yeah. doing what he does because he just did it because he was brilliant yeah now i'm not saying that you know i'm brilliant like that but the point is because we weren't like taught how to play blood ball or whatever yeah it's like do you know what i mean we, we just we just got there and then don't really know how we've got there it was just, we've just played it a bunch it's not being concerted effort to get good yeah that's Which can, then... that's different from me where like I'm trying to I'm trying to leech your knowledge to make myself good <laughs> and it just turns into <laughs> it just turns into a puddle. <laughs> a puddle. <laughs> Not even a puddle. It's a puddle of a wet soppy book that you're trying to write knowledge down in and it's just leaking out of this gross <laughs> soppingly wet book. <laughs> you're welcome for that image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's, it's so saturated with knowledge, you know. That's why it's dripping wet. <laughs> well, yes, I, I mean. I think the saturation of knowledge sure does <laughs> result in dripping wet, usually. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that no amount of blood ball knowledge has ever resulted in dripping wet. <laughs> happening at those tabletop tournaments, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, actually. I've got a funny story I'll, I can tell you offline sometime. <laughs> well, off stream, not offline, obviously. Yeah. Oh, oh dear, yeah. So, yeah, actually, that's, that's, not, that's not so true. <laughs> that's not such a true thing to say. <laughs> oh, dear me. This is, so I think I'm just going to keep this guy out. It makes it a bit harder. Like you got to think about switches, I guess. You got to think about switching um, every now and then. Mm -hmm. Like switching can be quite good. Switching sides. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look, just cast this. Nice. 
I was thinking about doing that, but I think I decided that I am kind of happy with the sideline here. Hmm. I'm like, Although you with my think ogre about... down, that's that's a little bad. I think I stabilize. Stabilization. Yep, the stabilization phase. Yep. <laughs> I mean, now it's looking horrendous for you, right? With, yeah. Because this is the thing, because you piled in and gave up a, a few hits. And then obviously, yeah, the Ogre's stunned. That guy's KO, that guy's Kazd, and now it, this looks a bit, a bit terrible, right? I could base. Mm -hmm. I could go here and base. Can you see that on your screen, what I'm thinking of or not? Yeah, yeah. I see what you're thinking. Okay. So I could do that, but then that gives you the assist. To like just go and hit him, right? Whereas yeah. now you've got to step in to hit him if you want to hit him. So I do think it's better to stay back and then make a screen with the other guy as well. I mean, this looks pretty hard to break through. I mean, yeah. a stun and two removals was pretty brutal that turn. So you were unlucky that turn. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, it's just it's just hard. Like I, I guess I guess what I've got to do is is try and think or like maybe just play and then as we play. You know, think of some yeah, things. Yeah, write stuff down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that could be that could be a play. And I think like some of it will come organically too, of um, you know, finding stuff to work on. You know, yeah. that, like when I come up with questions and stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it seems it seems pretty. It seems pretty, that that seems the best way to do it rather than, you know, just trying to say, you know, like, well, do this and do that or this, yeah. this, this, this is good and stuff. Better just to be like, because not, nothing's like, everything's situational, like literally, this is, this is the hard thing because everything's situational, like everything's mm -hmm. completely reactive. Like, you know, on defense, I'm thinking, well, what are you going to do next turn? I don't really think two turns ahead. But like, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Like putting this guy at the side here, I'm thinking uh, the, the last move that I did to put that guy, well, no, the last move was the block. The last mm -hmm. move before the block to move that lineman was like, well, you could blitz my wrestler and then go down the sideline, right? Mm -hmm. um, and because my lineman in the middle has fend, like you couldn't hit him and follow up and, and break through that way, really. Mm -hmm. So um, so he was like holding the center. He didn't need anyone behind him. So I just made that like decision just for one turn. I, I think probably nobody who plays Blood Bowl is good enough to think multiple turns ahead. I just don't think yeah. people do it. I mean, maybe they do, but I don't. I don't believe they do. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't believe them if they told me they did. <laughs> because the top level Blood Bowlers have enough problems like doing safe moves first. Like it's yeah. it's absolutely crazy how much. We just don't do safe moves first. So, genuinely, if you just did safe moves first, that would put you ahead of so many people. Which is but that's hard crazy to do. It shouldn't. <laughs> it is. It is. Mm -hmm. But it's it's crazy that that's true because it really shouldn't be, should it? It shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. we, we should we should all be able to do safe moves first without thinking about it, really. But we do, we don't. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the block list one dies are just too spicy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you can't help yourself with a block list one <laughs> day. <laughs> There's just something about the one die, the block list block. I just know I'm gonna get pows from them. It's impossible to not get a one die pow. <laughs> oh dude, so there's things you can do, right? There's funky things you can do, like um, I could put two guys below. Um, if you see like where the ball is and the two guys in front of mm -hmm. there, I could put two guys behind, come in, blitz him, chain him, and then chain my guy and get an extra oh, hit. Oh, yeah. So you can do cool little things like that to get extra hits, but a lot of the time it's just fancy and doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah. Mostly. So, yeah, the three, the three things is penetration versus cover mm -hmm. and safety uh, protection. Protection, protection's good because it ties in with penetration. Very amusing. <laughs> protection, <laughs> protection versus pressure, right? Yep. Because like you know, ball ball pressure and stuff. Uh, pressure and cover is great because it's just like American football. So like that that's perfect pressure and cover. 
and then it's just like bashing or hitting or fighting or whatever. Somebody said banging. Banging's a good one. Banging's yeah. a good one. It's so like you always want to think about banging and maximizing banging. Like because <laughs> you good. have to yeah, you have to you have to though, right? Like Cruz often, like, you know, Cruz one of the one of the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. He would like he just often would just prioritize banging over like protection or penetration or cover mm-hmm. or pressure. He's just like just max those hits. Maxing those hits, you know, like every play you go down is is, you know, often huge, right? Like you can't you can't underestimate how uh how powerful um you know having more players is mm-hmm. so so you kind of have to you kind of have to maximize that um, i think that's that's why i don't like playing bash teams that much is because i get in the bad habit of doing too much banging <laughs> and that's a bad <laughs> habit to be in it causes a lot of problems <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty good, believe it or not. <laughs> Some would say it's impossible to bang too much. Um, because, but yeah, Devo did, right? Devo did versus Plotinus. Devo did versus Plotinus. So that was a good, a, a good example of banging too much. But normally, yeah, normally you can't bang too much, honestly. Trust me. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess I guess really it's the people who don't bang enough that say people bang too much. Well, okay, is this the thing? Is like <laughs> is putting yourself in a position to get banged bad. <laughs> you know cuz like I keep tagging your players and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have put yourself in a position to be banged, and you've you've taken two chaos in the cards. Yeah, yeah. So long as you have enough protection. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! But then you see now your protection's breaking down. Yeah. So now, now you in you know turn five you're thinking, look, I'm not going to achieve penetration here. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. I just need so, to make something happen, don't I? Is going down the middle kind of decent here? Just trying to make some space and make you make a mistake? I mean, the problem is, the problem that you've got here is I'm not going to make a mistake. <laughs> I, well, so. you know what, Jim? <laughs> I can make you roll the dice. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, um, that just changed everything. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, like that makes it harder, you know, like that makes it harder that obviously I'm not going to make the mistakes. But yeah, against, you know, people particularly in bronze and stuff, yeah. they will make the mistakes and then like, so you will. So there, but often you'll see people like they just think oh fuck this you know like i'm just gonna give up on trying to score it and and try and make sure it go down but then what could happen is i could try and pressure too much yeah. and give up the cover see at the moment i've got like max cover here right i've got like it's insane there's no way you could there's no way you can penetrate this right yeah. there's just no way there's no way um but if like if yeah I started going, you oh, think so God. jim <laughs> I, I do think so yeah <laughs> <laughs> and there's still an ogre stood there. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm working it out. <laughs> but you did a good bit of banging. You see, you did a bit, yeah. good bit of banging there. That's okay. okay. Um... Responsible banging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that was good. You know, like you went for the armor seven guy, maximize your chances, block bits with mm-hmm. block, seventy five percent knockdown. Now, was there a way you could have, you know, got an extra? hit on a push probably not so you know that's probably like just about the best that you could make for like attrition so yeah. oh that's another thing you've got like attrition, attrition. And, yeah, yeah yeah that's the thing i don't necessarily understand that well so far it's mm. like when is a good attrition blitz yeah it's interesting like obviously what you want to do is you want your positional blitz to then also be your attritional blitz and then you're laughing mm-hmm. right yeah but um and obviously, from the opposing point of view, you want to force your opponent's blitz to be a positional blitz or an attrition blitz. Like, the worst yeah. thing is where, like, for example, the worst thing is when you have, like, your witch elf 
and you've potatoed and they can just two dice your witch elf with mighty blow tackle and it's like yeah. well that's that's literally the player that i want to hit with my mighty blow tackle and it's the one that i have to because she's got the ball and she's going to score if i don't so like that's terrible you know like um yeah so you, that's what you don't want to do don't don't let their their positional blitz be their attrition blitz as well um and i, I could mess it up here i could make a mistake i could of course i was just you know being hilarious but um people You'll can always make, a make mistake. mistakes <laughs> people can always make mistakes and and at a this point you know like a mistake can always be made because you have to roll dice. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is, there is that. But also, generally, it's going to be the tension between um, cover, pressure, and banging. You mm -hmm. know? If you give up on the banging to generate more pressure, then all of a sudden, you might get more hits. You might make a couple of removals and, and get yourself out from under the cosh. If I, if I only go cover, then I'll probably get out of here nil-nil. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'll probably, if, if I just don't move... <laughs> <laughs> this turn, mm -hmm. and, you know, and then next turn, I'll probably, you know, the next turn make one or two moves. You, pro I'll probably get out of this match nil nil pretty easily, out of this mm -hmm. half nil nil pretty easily. But then I've lost equity because I could have turned you over and been one nil up, right? Mm -hmm. If I'd if I'd prioritized pressure a bit more, like so, it's it's not optimal to get out of this half nil nil now. I don't think it's made a bit of a difference that you've removed that guy, but I don't think optimal play is getting out of this half nil nil. Now I think I want to be trying to get. You know, get out of this one nil up, um, just because it's gone so well. So, like, if you if you don't try to uh, maximize that, it's not gonna. It's not your your equity will not be maximized <laughs> if you yeah. don't try to maximize it. So you have to try to maximize it. Um, but it's not easy to. Uh, Right, I'm just going to blitz with my ogre because he's big and strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They've got the advantage. Maximize bang, right? Make my attrition. Like, you know, it's, yeah. he's mighty blow, right? He's, he's mighty blow and your armor eight. And I can't get three dice on anybody, so I might as well go for the, um, yeah. the sexy boy, whatever he's called. Blitzer. <laughs> the sexy boy. <laughs> Uh, if in doubt over who to bang, go for the sexy boy. Uh... Heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I could tag, but then obviously just put people in and punch him, and that's giving myself a chance to get banged. And if there's yeah. one thing I don't want is to get banged by you. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> 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 Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> so you know, I have, I have. Maybe he's got a bit too heavy on on cover here. Maybe I should have tried a bit more pressure. I've still got three turns though. I still, you know, like the fact that I lost that player has uh, has. What is it? Is it pops your brakes? Does it pops your brakes? Is that is that the expression? What is what? I've never heard that. Pop it, dude, but does it not pop the brakes? Is maybe that's a that's maybe that's a British pump the thing. Brakes? I'm sure I've pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Is that's that is that thing. what it is? Pump the brakes. Yeah. Pump the brakes. Does that mean uh, stop a bit? Yeah. Slow down or stop something? Yeah. There you go. Pump yeah. the brakes. All right. Yeah. I totally knew that it wasn't pop the brakes. Yeah. Pump the brakes. That's made me pump the brakes a bit, you making that pump cat, right? Pump the brakes, pull the brakes, like, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I, I think here, I just start tagging, hoping you go bad, right? Hoping you to make a mistake and um, just try and force my way through, right? Set myself up to push ahead. You could try, yeah, you could try. The problem is you've got to think about like, you know, the hits you're giving up. Mm -hmm. you, you've you've got to think about like you've try you've got to try and like wangle away for your catcher to get through, right? The, yeah, the that's your best chance of scoring. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Mm. <sighs> trying to get like my ogre to roll dice is decent, so I, th I think I think like basing the ogre there is pretty decent. Like yeah. basing him with your lowest value player and then 
if at least if I'm like hitting with you, like, you know, I've got to make it three dice and I could still go stupid. So then maybe I just don't activate them at all. But then you've got an assist to then blitz him with your ogre and stuff. Maybe open a channel for the uh, for the catcher to get through. But yeah. you have to get in a scoring range next turn. So that is a, that is a bit of a problem. That's, yeah, that's what I'm like. Okay, where can I make the most pressure to open a hole next turn? And I'm almost considering... I'm almost considering tagging with the blitzer I have on your far right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just so that you can't pull those players... Like if you want it to be a two die, you'd have to you'd have to use them, you know. Mm, it's tricky. It's tricky because obviously you might just get knocked down and knocked yeah. down and knocked down. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's generally if if you're basing, you want to make it hard for people to do anything. Like you know, two guys on one and stuff. That's that's mm -hmm. that's what you're trying to generate. Like trying to generate mi mismatches. You know, like mm -hmm. in uh, in card games. You've got like they always talk about two for ones. I don't know if they talk about in other things as well, but they, you know, I'm not I'm not that uh, I'm not that much of a gamer. But in in <laughs> card games, you know, talk about two for ones and stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could GFI here. Should I GFI? Do you think? Stop it's it. a way for me to lose the game, isn't it? It's a way for me to lose the game. But so... you're going to make a mistake. So this is you making you roll dice. Like, it's a decision that is either going to win you the game or it's going to win me the game, you know? Yeah, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Lame! <laughs> yep, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to... You can break through here. I'm going to go here and that should... These things should stop you breaking through. I mean, I'm being a bit greedy here. I'm being a bit greedy here, and I know that I shouldn't be being a bit greedy here, but I'm I'm doing it anyway because it's just a bit more interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Basically. Mm -hmm. So it failed. I, I, I didn't roll the pow. If I'd rolled the pow, I would have uh, I would have run around and sacked the ball. Or you know, attempted to set the ball, but because I didn't, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now, now that that's failed. Okay, we're gonna blitz this guy. I'm gonna base the ball. Are you ready? Are you ready for the ball base? I'm ready. Whoa. Won the game. So now at least you know if you if you want to blitz through my line, you then have to dodge away from the ball, right? Or you have to like, oh god, you've just got an assist. That was terrible. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> but I've got to stand firm. Yeah. I've got to stand firm. So you might. So you've got to block him. You know, you've got to stand him up. You've got to block him, and then yeah. I've got to stand firm. So you might not even hit it, knock him over, and then you've got to blitz somebody else, and you might knock knock them over and stuff. It's uh, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, and this guy can go there. I think this is pretty strong. I mean, there's a bit of a weakness, but it's not that weak, right? Like, this is pretty hard for you to get through here. And while you could get through, um, at least I've got players in your half to, like, maybe counter score now. Whereas, like, that's the thing. So I have given up a bit, mm -hmm. a bit of cover to generate the pressure. And, yeah, that's good. Correct move. Thank well you. Done. I, I see the way. Hmm. You sheet a play. <laughs> I sheet a play, guys. Check this out. You won't find this anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> but you did have to pow that guy, right? Because I've got stuff. Yeah, that may have been worth a reroll. It may have been, yeah. The York Coochie has. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. The York Coochie got me. Oh, yeah, but same the thing again. is, yeah, I'm more you willing have to reroll re -roll this. this. Yeah. Yeah, you have to reroll that. Yeah. So yeah, I probably should have had the uh, the thrower like one over, right? Probably should have had the thrower one over there, and then that makes it a lot harder for you. You've probably got a one dice. Yeah, yeah. I think I think my thrower had to be one over. You could throw it right from the tackle. I, I know. Zone. Yeah, that's what I'm considering is throwing it or so what? Throwing it is a. Two plus? 
plus yes. one with P. the tackle zone, so that's a three plus. Dodging's gonna be a three plus anyway, so they have the same yeah. odds, and I have a reroll automatically for the pass. Yes, and failing the pass is better than failing and, the dodge. And get this, I <laughs> would have forgotten to hit the pass activation if I went for the dodge. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Easy. Four. Pretty good. Um, my only question is obviously the ogre has to activate. I the GF, even if I GFI, I'm not going to get out of range of your players, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it, oh, so you've got two rerolls. Yeah. If if you GFI, I can use I can use one to uphill your ogre. So then that guy's tagged, and then I activate the ogre here, and see what happens with him. And of course he Oof. fails. So maybe this is worth a reroll because he has to tag here. Like he yeah, has to. Be. He it has to. Be, yeah. It could be worth it, yeah. Yeah. Easy! <laughs> <laughs> and he has, to, he has to tag those two. That's the thing. And then... Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think need, that's the right move. I yeah. need to... This... The only thing is this, if, if, if this the thing goes... <laughs> <laughs> if this uphill goes bad, though, then your ogre's free. Yeah, this is a but, very risky move. But the end state is you're going to have to roll dice or roll a dodge. Versus right now you have a one die for free without moving mm. anyone. Mm. It's interesting. It's, it's a hard, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. And then the reroll is also a tough call. Okay, no. Nope. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Take your no, I've got to choose it. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll choose the push. <laughs> <laughs> Controversial. Oh, maybe I should have pushed him into my blitzer, actually. Correct, well, yeah. Should I have? Yes. Yeah. Because so. then that would have made this better, yeah. But mm. end state-wise, I think this was the best end state for... Yeah, really good turn, really good turn, for sure. Yeah. And it just shows how much I should I should have not let you get down the side. Like you know, I moved it over, reinforced down the sideline the previous turn, mm -hmm. and I could have done that again. But uh, you know, ultimately, it's uh... you made a mistake. Well, let's let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this gave me the chance of a counter score more, right? If you if you had failed yeah. on the dice rolls or. Um, or anything. Right, three, four, five. I can one D here. Should I one D? I've only got one reroll. Super interesting. Oh, to free this has that. to be better than a one D. Oh, it's not better than a one D. Get shit on. Ah, Get shit absolutely on. shit on, Jim. <laughs> absolutely shit on. So there you go. I did make a mistake. Um, so, it's hard, again, that's hard to say that was a mistake, right? Because, I mean, it was, right? Look, if this was a cup game, I would have uh, I would have just stopped the score and, and gone in nil-nil. Like, I, just, I wouldn't have gone for the, the speculative ball sack. Mm -hmm. But it probably is worth, like, you know, right, one square. If, if that throw was one square to the right... Yeah. It gets a lot harder. So so that's that was the knob was there uh, the knob. <laughs> the knob. <laughs> the, the knob. The thrower was definitely mispositioned. Um so that was an arguably a mistake. Um the strategy of like going up and getting a scoring threat in and maybe getting the ball sack. Mm -hmm. You know, that could have been the correct strategy. You know, probably end up one nil up one nil a lot more. Mm-hmm than the other way, but then the execution was poor. Um, so yeah, interesting, interesting. But yeah, again, if, if that was like, you know, if that was the season finals for two grand, I'm definitely just getting out nil-nil and then and then winning one-nil. 
-hmm. But uh, I think for ladder, it's probably better, like, you know, to, to go the other way. I think it was, it was interesting. But um, maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe it's just better to just stock the score, you know, and just never, never, never uh... go for the ball like i mean i mean obviously go for the ball but focus primarily on defense for just stopping the drive in that situation in that the... particular situation in in that game yeah. i think yeah in that board state i think that was that was probably the play because it wasn't easy for me to uh to do anything do you really. have a lot of different tactics you use to stop drives or do you kind of just do it naturally do it naturally. Um, okay. No plan. No plan. No plan. <laughs> okay. The uh, it's it's generally it's just you know try and hold the center. I guess try and hold the center. You don't want them. You don't want them just going straight down. You know straight down the pipe. That's that's just shit, right? Yeah. Then you just fuck. Although you can kind of collapse them on both sides sometimes. So it's not. It's maybe sometimes not terrible, but. If, if you just hold the center and then they've kind of got, like, you know, there, you, you kind of nudge down that side, right? You weren't going down the other side there. So I could have reinforced that side more and just shut you down. But then mm -hmm. I thought I'd go for, like, you know, the, the ball sack. Um, but it, I could have just shut you down. So so if you hold the center and then you make them, eventually the, they're going to have to go to one side or the other. And then, then when they get just committed enough, you can shut that down, shut down the switch back to the other side. And then, you know, then that should get you a good result <laughs> if you see what i mean yeah just just hold hold around here when they finally push i always try to keep as well like uh like kind of parallel to where they are so like let's say your team was here i'd have like my team here as well you know just mirroring i try to try i try to mirror their their position quite a lot and then depending you can like cut off the edge or you can leave it open to try and force an early score so I guess there are things like that that I do without, like, you know, really thinking about them yeah. much until you've asked right now. <laughs> it's probably the only time. No, I've I've noticed that, that the mirroring. I've noticed the mirroring. And it, it's quite noticeable in some games. You know, you'll see, like, their team's like this and my team's, like, exactly parallel, basically. Because if, if you... And one of the mistakes people make is if, if someone's team's like this, they'll, like, put loads there to kind of stop them. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Look at this. This is very posh. Yeah, you see it. <laughs> I added your screen yeah. so chat can see what you're talking about. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so you'll see a mistake you'll make. People see is if if you put like your team like in say this formation, ish. Mm -hmm. It's not formation. This if you blob your team like this, they'll put like loads here, mm -hmm. and then a little bit here. So then you can just pile through there, and then they they can't swing back far enough and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. hard to explain, isn't it? With, with a mouse. <laughs> with a mouse. We need the whiteboard. Bring out the whiteboard, Jim. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can look at vods and stuff and and do it that way as well. You know. Oh, like, true. Uh, yeah. And like draw on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be a way. Yeah. 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 Lots of possibilities. So many options. <laughs> it's, it's, it's your kickoff. By the I way. know. I just realized. <laughs> I was just laughing at this so many options. <laughs> not, 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 not that you were just hanging around doing nothing. I do that sometimes. And I, I, there's just like no indication that you should yeah. bloody kick or anything. It's just, oh, I've just done this wrong. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just going to one dice blitz. Nothing to see here. You would be proud of me. I uh, was setting up a one turn for the uh, orcs last night, and it actually worked out pretty decent. Almost. Nice. Yeah, I almost got it. Nice. I can't do this now. Maybe I never could. If I pushed it, I think I could have maybe got it. I don't know why he's here and not there. So I'm stupid, I guess. Um... Push him one and then two, but I can't get him the third. So I'll just punch. Just punch things. Bash! Hit! Kill! <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dead. 
dead, 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 hopefully. Death, 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 death. <laughs> Give us what we want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what? Uh, you know, you know wrestling? Yeah. Um, there was a great, you know, you, do you know Batista, the uh, actor? Batista? He is now. No. Mm. Oh, well, he's an actor now, and he used to be a wrestler. And saying "give give us what we want" is, oh, I mean, it's it's it's. I've talked too long. Just not me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in wrestling they have promos where like they come out and talk and shit. Oh you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the best promos was him just like screaming at this guy, "Give me what I want," because <laughs> he'd forgotten his lines. <laughs> he literally forgotten what he said, <laughs> and he just and he's like, "You know what I want? You know what I want? Give me what I want!" And the guy he was saying it to, we like he can't like feed him the line, right? So he just started getting angrier and angrier. So he's screaming back at him, and then this guy's just screaming, "Give me what!" <laughs> amazing <laughs> it's it's one of the promos of all time <laughs> just from forgetting his lines <laughs> and it just goes on and then eventually remembers it and then they finish it but it was fucking great oh man <laughs> give me what i want <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so good I was actually, that's funny that that's what you thought of with that reference, because I was uh, partially it, but mostly incorrectly referencing the uh, Rick and Morty episode, where it's like, show us what you got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've never, I don't, I've never seen Rick and Morty. Oh, I love Rick and Morty. Mm, yeah, I know you've it's mentioned fun. it before. but uh... Pickle Rick! <laughs> <laughs> actually, never oh seen god. It. I just got reminded of something. Um, <laughs> do I want to tell chat this? Uh, <laughs> I think I should. So, you see, in the sorority house, we had a condom, right? <laughs> and we blew it up like a balloon and then drew Pickle Rick on it. So it was Pickle Rick, but the condom version. <laughs> It was condom Rick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're welcome for that. <laughs> Thanks. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh dear. You could just you could just go straight in here, look. All men's. All men's is, yep. is interesting. I'm not saying you should do it, but you know again, like you know, trying to put two on one and stuff to make it hard for me to mm -hmm. beat you off. That's often this that's often a good strategy. Like overwhelming, you know, like the, mm -hmm. the, that that's uh, that's how you can like how you can get through, yeah. You can't you can't you still can't do uh, three in the one. My bad. So. Um, so that's one of the ways you can like you can like generate forward movement, right? It's mm -hmm. like if you pile in three on one guy, it's very hard for them. I mean, two they can blitz one and hit the other, right? But if you've got three on yeah. one, then they just can't beat them all off. A kind sir. A kind sir. They missed my wonderful story. <laughs> it's probably a good thing that was good timing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Death! Oh, see, <laughs> see this one, not so good. Yeah. See, because I just, I just bang him. But it's now, tactical banging, because you have to use another player to go bang him. That's my philosophy on that. I don't know mm. if it's good. I don't know if it's good, but... I, I, I wouldn't call it good. <laughs> um... In fact, <laughs> what I'd call it is shit. <laughs> now, now, you know, you might take offense at that, but <laughs> um, yeah, I would call that shit, technical term, because it's just not, it's just not mm. doing enough for you, right? Yeah. Like, that's the problem, it's just not doing enough. Um, yeah, that makes I do sense. have to hit with the ogre here, though. 
Get him. And then he's got a blitz in. Like, this is good over here. This is good over here, right? Because even though it's two and one, it means that I have to... I have to, like, come in there and, and try and do something. God, I've got a double GFI now. I've got a double GFI. Holy shit. So you know, you made us roll a few dice there. Yeah. So that 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 move was definitely good. But yeah. the other one, like just giving somebody like a free hit, even moving one person. And what you want is like you know have to have if they have to use three actions to make a hit, mm -hmm. pretty good. Um, or like something like that. Where I don't know why I'm carrying on the thrower here. By the way, he's absolutely garbage. I should be like <laughs> carrying it on the blitzer, but never mind. Ah, Mr. Throw doing Mr. Throw things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's literally just a lineman, right? He's just better than a lineman. A li lineman are armor yeah. seven and he's armor eight. He's just there to be a better lineman. But uh, for some reason, I pick, tried to pick up with him. I don't know. I'm just stupid. <laughs> oh, because I wanted to punch with my blitzer, right? Because he's got blocks. Yeah, I wanted a more yeah, reliable yeah. punch that can knock somebody over. Again, maximizing banging, right? You know, you've got block, he hasn't. You've got mighty blow. He's armor lowest armor. Like generally, like your mighty blow on their lowest armor is, is you know most chance of a removal. Yeah. Sometimes you want you want to try and move their key players. You know, like why you saw run bad like taking both downs against the gut runners and stuff because he just desperately wanted to kill the gut runners. Like that's there's times you just want to hunt the best players, but generally if you just go for like easiest to remove, yeah, that's gonna be most impactful you know like more likely to remove something is better than not removing a better player <laughs> yeah like removing their worst player is better than not removing the best player but then obviously sometimes removing their best player well that's the best thing you can do and not just sometimes removing the best player is always the best thing you can do and you don't get to remove the best player if you don't try to remove the best player so oh shit Oh, fuck, I fucked up. I was supposed to blitz with that guy. Fuck. <laughs> Why am I so incompetent, Jim? <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy, Trent. It's not easy. It's not easy, okay? People make mistakes. Don't beat yourself up about it. Do you know what you've done with this blitz, though? And this these moves? I've messed up. I've messed up, okay? Mm. I messed up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, I know. I I did this wrong. I didn't mean to do it this way. Yep. Well, yep. it's okay. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know what? At this point, let's just triple down. Okay, here we go. This is good, <laughs> right? This is actually good. This this is actually good, right? Because now, you know, you a threat to my rear. All of a sudden, I'm distracted. The backside. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't tag, but I'm debating another GFI. Um... I would wouldn't GFI here because you know okay. how much does it do for you, right? That's the thing. Like, even if it's better, how much better is it? And you know, probably I have a not dream, a lot better. Jim, right? Oh my god. Of one deep house. <laughs> you dirty Dino. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Another blockless block. <laughs> oh, you look a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't believe it. Diced. Right, I'm gonna start off with this, see for all the power. Get the power. Good. <laughs> Death! <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Get shit on. <laughs> Get shit on. Get shit on. <laughs> okay, so now I'll do this block. Oh, so I've, I've, oh, I might free him up. I don't know what to do. Okay, um, he's not going to torture anything. He has to punch him. He's got block. Well, he hasn't. He's got wrestle. Same difference. I'm not going to follow because I don't want you to beat my man up. Rude. <laughs> and casting him means that, it, you know, obviously it's pretty good for me. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. But it's not that good because I was going to surf that guy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
so now he has to come in there. And he gets the surf. I should probably yep. say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. Not terrible. Yeah. I saw that I probably shouldn't have stood him, but I figured that was better than... But that's who I wanted to blitz with, actually. I wanted him to blitz whoever was at that bottom corner the previous turn. I just did it. I did it completely wrong. Mm, that's a shame. Yeah. If I was no. a gentleman, I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have taken advantage of it, but there you go. Well, <laughs> I never asked you to be kind to me. <laughs> is this is this am I stupid? Is this good? Is this bad? You I don't know where the best square is. I don't know. Yeah, no, I should know. I know I should know. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe maybe this guy should no, he couldn't have gone there. So I don't know where the best square is for this guy. It's one of these, right? It's one of these nine squares mm -hmm. is best. And they've all got good things and bad things going for them. And I guess this is just the safest one. This is probably going to be got the highest odds of being right, I imagine. Uh, do I even hit with my ogre? I think it's so bad if my ogre goes stupid. But is it that bad? I don't know. That's a you decision. Well, you see, I've got these two guys screening this backside. Mm -hmm. um, if my ogre goes goes down, is it even bad? Not really, right? Because your ogre can already hit this guy. Mm -hmm. And if I push him into hitting this guy, it doesn't really matter because I'd still have the other guy. So because it's like a, these three are making a formation, it actually doesn't matter if I... If I uh, if I don't hit your ogre, it doesn't make any difference. So, okay, let's go. Power him. Easy. Wow. Wow. Easy. AV break. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Get That's fucked. just not fair. <laughs> Absolutely not fair. So, I, I guess here is like a, what do you do in this situation? And I know your response is going to be, well, don't get yourself in this situation in the first place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah like you know here you're in a you're in a tough spot right yeah you're in a tough spot. what what the hell is going on with my camera here <laughs> what what like i used to press it like two or three times and it went right now it, oh my what what oh okay that, that right i was on the wrong camera thing okay this is right so what do you do here um Pull oh, it's because I press C instead yeah. of Z. That's what it was. Yeah, I mean, you fucked, aren't you? <laughs> it's, it's not well. good. <laughs> there's not a lot you can do, is there? Like, you know, like, you know not being yeah. funny, there's just not a lot you can do. Like, roll some yeah. dice. Um, yeah, like, you know, just just make the correct moves and, and hope it's enough. Like, in this situation, I favor, like, bold moves. Um, so I would try something... That would so this blitzer I would have like did, did he go did he double GFI? No. So he Wait, maybe who? should have uh, th th this this blitzer here nutcracker. Yeah. In front of the ball, did he? If he didn't double GFI, probably should have put him to there. To the side. I mean, line? if he did one, yeah. If he done one, if if he done no GFIs, do you know if he did any? Oh, uh, I guess he could have have been an assist on the ball and then i had my thrower who could come in and blitz on yeah oh he's done a dodge he's done it he stood up and done yeah, a dodge he did a dodge so yeah so what he hasn't gfi'd so yeah this thrower could have like four plus three plus and yeah. run around and then this guy could have double gfi'd one day so you know it, that's hard right you, you're looking yeah, at um, i didn't see that yeah that's a good yeah good spot so it's like, it, it does add a 4-3, so it's hard. But you've got three rerolls. So these yeah. kind of moves you can attempt in the game now. Like, in Blood Bowl 2, you know, if you asked me to do, like, a 3-4-3-2 a three, three, to hit the ball, what mm -hmm. day, I would be like, fuck off. You know, it's, it's just not going to happen, right? Yeah. But it totally happens when you can reroll the 3 and reroll the 4 and reroll the 3. Like, then it becomes really high odds. Yeah. So So these kind of desperation moves... 
as long as like you do them early enough um, with a big enough payoff. So like in this case, because I'm in Chun's column, if you'd rolled a pat out, the ball could have gone in the crowd, could have gone up, mm -hmm. your catcher who was up there somewhere, it, you know, could have got it and made off and you could have, you could have scored 2-0 up, you've won the game. Yeah. Right? So, so that's the sort of plays you've got to make. When, when like when things look this bad, hitting a guy and you know moving around is probably not going to be good enough. And, and sometimes it is, right? Sometimes it is. To be yeah. fair, it's not always the case that it isn't good enough, but sometimes it is good enough. But um, it's and and honestly, like obviously now, look in in bronze, it probably will be good enough. <laughs> but um, oh no, you're not. No, you're in silver. You're in silver. In silver, it'd probably be good enough. But um, so, but I do think you know you should play as if people are good. Yeah. <laughs> and if people are good, then it will not be good enough. Um, almost certainly not good enough. And then in that case, um, you know, now it's kind of too late, right? Because yeah. Because now, uh, you know, this is uh, like this kind of thing's happening, and it's just it's all yeah. It's all fucked. So the first oh. rule of Blood Bowl is don't put yourself in bad situations. The second rule of Blood Bowl is <laughs> don't be don't stupid. Put yourself, <laughs> don't put yourself in bad situations. <laughs> Wait, no. That's so hard, though. That's fine, like, it, it, it's honestly really difficult not to, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It's hard. It's like, but that's the thing. It's it's. You've got to recognize like mm -hmm. when it's turning, and you've got to react before it's too late. Mm -hmm. And so you know, for that, it needs good assessments so that you make, like you know, you've got to make the correct assessment that that things are going badly now. So I need to act, mm -hmm. and then you need to do the right reactions as well to uh to react to it so it's it's tricky it's definitely tricky yeah because is you're just at this point thinking how could how can you stall right like just making yeah. it as difficult for me as possible yeah i'm not gonna try to uh i'm not gonna try to win this game i'll just i'll just try and draw right i wouldn't like i wouldn't try and win this uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't. I, I probably would have just, you know, tried to stop you earlier instead of uh, going yeah. for the. There was too much pressure. So, so now. I could try and score and, and and try and win, but I don't. Honestly, I don't feel like you've played badly enough that that should be something I should try to do. Yeah. Like that, you know, like that matters, right? If you're playing somebody who's awful, then you mm -hmm. think, well, uh, you know, they got lucky in the first half. I'll mm -hmm. score on them and then score on them again. Like, and obviously, like I've got knobs, so <laughs> it's not that mm -hmm. good. Whereas, like you know, Chunter, for example, if he's got his rats, it, you know, if I had Skaven here, then of of course I can score, and then I've got actually got a good chance of scoring a, a, a second and winning. But knobs just can't. They've just got to, you know, feel bad, feel bad, and get the try and get the draw. Yeah. Okay. Roll good all the time. You can't roll good all the time. You you will roll the good the same amount of time as everyone else. But what you have to do is is recognize when things are about to go to shit, or you know could go to shit in future. And it's so that that's hard, I guess. That's and and also like you know I guess it depends on where you're at level wise as well, and mm -hmm. as to you know what you can expect and stuff, and you know because like. Art's played like thousands and thousands of games, hasn't he? He hasn't played for as many years as me, but he's uh, he's played for more games. So, <laughs> so you know that that that's a big part. Of how many games you've played um, is a huge part of the equation. Like you know, seeing these things over and over and over again mm -hmm. is is a lot different than you know, like seeing a little bit like you. So you you know, it depends. It it, it does depend what where you want to get to and. And stuff as well, right? Like, mm -hmm. do you even? Um, to be fair, this is turn three for me. It's gonna actually. It's actually not that. See now, now just by playing safe, this this isn't an easy store for me anymore, is it? You, you've done pretty well here. Like, I've got two more players than you. Yeah. But this isn't an easy. Like, you know, it isn't easy for me to uh, 
to get on top, right? Like I can I can cage down the field. But like this isn't too easy to like make a bunch of blocks and uh bang everyone out. But this is a pretty pretty you know, even though you've just like, you know, you have played safe, you have gotten to a pretty decent recovered this pretty well, like just would you move the lineman that I blitzed with? Would you drop him down to tag your front person on your cage here? The front person? Ooh. He'd have to GFI, wouldn't he? Yeah, twice. Oh, but you want to double GFI and get right in front. Right in front. Or is he more valuable stopping you from coming in to help on the side? You know, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Or does he I'm, just does he just base the ball at this? Because you'd have. Well, no, because you could just push. If I did that, you could blitz this guy who could just blitz your ball carrier free, and he'd run down the sideline. So I don't think exactly. he goes. Yeah. I don't think he goes there. Yeah, you just at, at that point you'd just be giving me like a free assist for for a block yeah. basically. <laughs> Waste my potatoes. <laughs> um... It's tough. It's it's really quite tough. Like this is a tough one, mm -hmm. and like, it's good. It's good not having the uh, time limit, right? Because if this was a game, yeah, you know, I I don't think it would matter who you were. You would just put this in like the square that you think's the best. Yeah. But this is a. I mean, this is a real tough show. I I I generally don't like. So I try and think of what's my plan, my entire plan for the next turn, right? And it's probably blitzing. This this guy in the front and then like caging down here mm -hmm. is probably my plan for the next turn. So maybe like putting him behind that guy makes yeah. it a bit harder. Like just without a GFI, like directly behind him. Yeah. Yeah, but then I mean, you have those two guys on my right, <laughs> yeah. your left, you know. So it's like it's kind of like you do or you don't. But at the at the same time, like my catcher at the rear could um, dodge out, but then I'd be giving you two more free players, you know. Well, I guess just one more free player. Yeah. Yeah. But then you you're not really doing a whole lot by not doing right because if you if you yeah. do dodge, then I can't use this guy anyway, right? Unless I bring in another person so that my ogre can hit your ogre. So you really only oh, free true. one. Do you so okay, what about this? I think he tags the front person on the right and then the catcher comes in and tags the back person on a dodge. And then Yeah, it could do. But then it's like you still have the sideline, like I'm not doing that much against you. Yeah. It's just, it's just tricky. Like this is the like there's no there's no right answers in all of this. I know. Really. I would need a right answer, Jim. <laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Double GFI and stand in front so I can serve you. <laughs> no! Um. <laughs> I think he does dodge out, yeah, though. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Something like this. Because it's, it's, it's taking into account the people that are on the side, but it's also not giving you too much room. Like, you could still score here if you really wanted to. Like, But yeah. at the same time, I don't think you want to. And I'm not necessarily forcing you to. You know? Mm. So he's going to come in. And he's going to come round. Look at me, safe moves first. Wow. Can you believe it? Good player. Ish. <laughs> Hi, Sandy Slyker and Yankee Sullivan. <laughs> Roll good all the time. It's hard. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Only Rick, only Rick can roll good all the time. <laughs> so if you haven't got Rick dice, you're up shit creek. Diced. But the thing is, like with this, you might get the, you might get the, you might pressure the stall a bit, right? So like it's, mm -hmm. uh, this isn't bad at all. Yeah, but I still think pressuring the stall is pretty bad here, because especially I like 
I like this formation. Like this makes it pretty difficult for me. Well, let me let me alter that. I hate this formation. How dare you make it hard for me? <laughs> Give me the win, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll do my best for you. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's funny. I I often say that you like you know when I when I'm like play when I'm streaming, I'm like yeah, I hate this from him. It's like well, no, actually, I love this from him. It's, yeah. it's giving me an easy win. <laughs> Yeah, that's. I mean, this isn't this isn't great for me, right? I can't like you're pressuring the stall a little bit, like. Yeah. And you know now you can get maybe the stall, maybe get the ogre down and stuff, and like I'm gonna struggle to stall this out for the whole half, definitely. Mm -hmm. So you know, so so maybe I over exact, maybe I overestimated how badly it was going for you, um, earlier, and maybe you know you didn't have to do that three four three, three to one d the ball, like you know maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe it, you know, maybe I uh, miss misassess that, and uh, you know, should play safe. It, it's it's really hard to know. It, um, what a three play with. A three three die with dodge versus a two die blitz without block. The two die blitz is better, right? Well, I uh, guess are are they the same odds? What thirty No, a blitz is uh the blitz the blitz is better. I'm um, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because you've got a reroll. Yeah. Well, you've only got one reroll though, so. And I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it on this though. Well, in that case, it's the same, right? Except the yeah. two die, you might hurt my player, and yeah. the dodge, you can only hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that that the ogre was stupid was a bit unfortunate there. Mhm. Mm because that coming in would have made. Things a little bit trickier. I mean, this formation that I've got up there is like it's pretty solid, but the problem is I I want to expand it so that I can mm -hmm. retreat into it later, right? So like I want to I want to beat these two guys off. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you want to beat off my men? <laughs> Hello, Fluffy Burrito. Um, not bad, not bad. Not bad. How's the apprenticeship going? <laughs> 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 I am kind of filling the young Padawan shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's fine. A timidity really was rewarded. <sighs> Bodyguard. Bodyguard. Not the end of the world. It would have been nice to have that guy there, though. Maybe that was worth a reroll, but at the same time, it's not because I still have four turns, you know? Mm. And if you score here, that's better than me using a reroll to force you to score here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, God. Okay, I thought it was a dodge then, but it was bonehead. Okay, failed. Dice, never looking. Safe moves first, though, pretty good. I'm learning. <laughs> Proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> okay, he's gonna go there. What's your hardest then... matchup in Blood Bowl? Oh, the dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. What team is your weakness? I don't have any weaknesses. Sorry. Liar! Um... <laughs> what is it, Jim? You can tell us. Uh, none. None, honestly. None. It, it just depends on, like, the team, right? Like, so, like, you know, if I've got a dwarf team, then the weakness would be lizards. If I've got an elf team, then the weakness would be dwarves. Or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. this is, I'm not sure I've done the correct thing here. 
Uh, That's a cage for air. I mean, it, yeah, it's kind of a cage, isn't it? It's not not really going. I was trying to think of, you know, like if I failed with things and it just hasn't really worked out. I probably should have just punched first and stayed where I was before I punched. Like I should, yeah, I should have just punched. Stayed and then punched and then moved afterwards. But... Kaz. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing here is the injuries make it almost like each injury just drastically r ruins the odds that I'm even going to make anything happen here. But I feel yeah. like I need to set up to take hits here. Like I have to, you know? Yeah, this is this is the problem. Yeah, like I, I lost 3 0 to Sage on fumble uh, on fumble once because like I had undead and he had wood elves and he removed more players than I did. <laughs> like he removed more of mine than I and I you know I had undead. But like I lost 3 0 because I was losing 1 0 and I just had I just had to start playing like a lunatic yeah. to have any chance of winning. So yeah, in these kind of situations, it's just it's just like but if it's ladder, you shouldn't, right? If it's ladder, mm -hmm. you should just like play safe, blitz the weakest guy, hope you get SPPs, give up on the game. Like, giving up on the game... In ladder, you give up on this, because mm -hmm. doing dumb shit, it's just not going to work, and it's going to get your players surfed and killed and everything. So so ladder here, you 100% give up. Um, because, like, it's not worth giving up your team to, like, maybe get a win. Mm -hmm. uh, or get a draw. Well, no, a win, yeah, a win. you one nil ahead. So, like... So, so maybe it would be, like, if, you know these thousand TVs were somehow one and two on the ladder. <laughs> but the the rankings don't really matter till later. So like yeah. first game, it's it's just not worth getting players killed. Usually it's never worth getting a player killed on a ladder team or a lead team for that matter. It's just usually never worth getting a player killed to get a slightly better result. But um, if it was NAF style or a cup final or whatever, then yeah. you should absolutely be, you know, throwing everything in the kitchen sink at it to try and uh, hope it sticks. You mean to tell me that clatter's not important enough, Jim? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're breaking my heart. <laughs> Every game is a life or death situation. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to break it to you, Trey. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit shit and pointless but you know that's okay isn't it that's okay mm -hmm. okay i need to remember which turn it is here i'm just gonna one dice blitz don't yeah. me. it was looking good like i'd be able to break your stall but now it's it you've just got too many uh, injuries against my team This is, this is a bit of shit by me, to be honest, but I don't care. <laughs> there you go, he'll just punch your ogre away. Not a problem. Wow. And he shall say, tschüss. Mean. Never so lucky. Mean. <laughs> Injured! So mean. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like so it's it's in like you know you did there were there were a couple of turns where it looked like you know you could have maybe pressured the stall, but yeah, this is the problem. Like to do that you had to give up the hits. Mm -hmm. And and you know, it's all about the banging, that's it. It's all about the banging. Always be banging. Always be banging. <laughs> A B B <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's true though. It's true, right? Like you know, if you yeah. lose the you lose the banging, it's uh... and it, it's funny because like you know you have like guys like you know Dio and people like that, and they say like you know in, you know use banger as disparaging term and stuff, and like say you know the overblocking and and honestly, I'm not even sure overblocking is even. Well, it is true, because obviously Devo did versus Plotinus. So it is true. Mm -hmm. But I think it's so rare that it's not something you should be worried about. I think generally you should you should bang as much as you can. <laughs> that one's got 
Rude. Nobs OP, what can I say? Tell Dimmy that. <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking never. <laughs> Someone give Dimmy in here, stat! <laughs> clip it, clip it, clip it! <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever can Dimmy be agreed with. <laughs> <laughs> Not when it comes to knobs. Can agree with him, you know, on like favorite sandwiches and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> kebabs and stuff, but never, <laughs> never can him. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, I think that completely ruins any chance I had. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks pretty, uh, pretty over. I mean, don't say it's over. Well, I have dice to roll, Jim. It's not over. It's never over. It's never over until it's over. You know, obviously it's not good. <laughs> Does he punch the ogre on one day? No. He could do, because then the bodyguard could still dodge. Hmm. I think I'll one day. I'll one day. Easy. Wow. And then... Oh, he can 2D. No. Oh, no, because he's stupid. Fuck's sake. All right, 1D. See what happens. <laughs> Another one die pow! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this is where Art would go crazy, but, like, I think it was the best play, right? So... Yeah. So... Oh, dear. I mean, it's it's funny, like... The first half was a bit of a dicing with the removals, and then obviously the second half has been pretty ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, but it was an element of... There's an element of maximizing blocks and stuff, isn't there? But then it it obviously gets harder than when you go down players anyway. So, like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say, you know, I beat up your players because I'm better than you. I would say it was there was a fair amount of dice there. It could have easily gone the other way. Um, and at the end of the day, you drew anyway, so... And there's a chance of it being a win for you still, right? If you if you if you roll six six six, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Technically a chance. What? Just one six. Um. And I need three die. It'd be yeah. So yeah. You, you could you could run all around the edges. Uh, with a catcher could go uh, four, four, five, and then an uphill. But then the problem is, it's right. I mean, I could still just fill the pickup, right? So that's that's not terrible. Oh, I just know wow, if you go that sixes. way, it's a three D. <laughs> yeah, the three. I mean, that nearly did it, but uh, I guess you might as well re-roll it, right? Okay, push. Managed to choose the correct one. <laughs> And then I guess you could like dodge this guy out and and put you know somebody in front and somebody yeah. behind, and then at least it's dice to roll. That's I don't know if I follow here, because then I can tag the front, but then you're just gonna hit me off. So maybe I do follow the side. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And then this guy comes around the back. Yeah. Does he stand in the three, or yeah? Yeah, I'd say there, yeah. Yeah. I think so as well. I for what difference it makes, it's Well, not a big one. Yeah. No, I mean it was it was really really, really, really low chances. But you know, if if you keep trying, it will work sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean very low. I mean, it probably wasn't worth. Probably wasn't worth trying in terms of like electricity, <laughs> electricity used between the two of us for the chance of it working. <laughs> but you know, it was possible, right? This could be a hexaskull yeah. here. I nearly, I literally nearly just chose the skull because I'd said hexaskull. <laughs> so, you know, chance of misclicks is 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 a thing for sure. Yeah. I was hoping that you were going to follow that and then you'd have to run around with the ball. Yeah, 
one it would still been all right but yeah. yeah you know like that kind that kind of stupid mistake would happen as well yeah like if you know if it had yeah. ended up differently so yeah you can always people can always make mistakes um or you could try a one turn should I'm I should I help you should I I'll help, help you no help I'll help you no help <laughs> Well, I mean, not 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 like uh, not help you do the put things, but I'll I'll help you, Scott. I'll help, look. I'll do the, I'll do the call trip defense. <laughs> no help. <laughs> there we go. That's fair enough, isn't it? It doesn't. Oh, yeah, I've just realised how many players I you've got. I don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's definitely no. not possible. Um, I'm thinking if there's so if if you set up. One to the right with the catcher. Uh, one to the left with the catcher, rather. Because I'm looking at it the other way. So, yeah, if you set that up, then you get a quick snap. You can move it forward. Oh, and then I see what you're bring saying. in yeah. two other people and then chain it forward one. Then block it forward another one. And then maybe you've got enough to like hand off to it and get it the third one. It's really hard, though. I think it would have to be. I think it would have to be like a a, a what's well, not a right anymore a timeout or a uh, a timeout or a quick snap. There's maybe a chance on the quick snap there. I don't see how it's still possible. I I yes. I don't think it is, but it it might be with a quick snap. I don't know how many players it needs for a quick snap, but a quick snap makes it a lot more possible. Yeah, because he has to come around. But then it's actually. You need somebody in the middle to do the hit, and you need the catcher and not be in contact. Yeah, yeah. So the ogre still needs to be in the middle there, pretty much. Does he? Like on the yeah. line, yeah. On the line, yeah. Because somebody has to hit this this edge lineman, right? Hold on. So you need the quick Where's snap. <laughs> how? How? So you need the quick snap. To, to move the catcher in here. Mm -hmm. And then you also, actually you need, you need the blitzer not on the line as well, that, that second blitzer, get, mm -hmm. get him out of the middle, the middle blitzer, get the middle blitzer off. Okay. Uh, the one next to the ogre. Yeah, if you move him off the LOS. Sorry, I just tapped back in. Uh, <laughs> this one, right? Yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So what happens is this, this is the quick snap. And then you put in these two players behind. And that gets you two squares forward. But oh, yeah, you can't get the third so one. So the catcher goes up diagonally? Mm, mm. Yeah. So and he then, goes there. And then, these yeah, two and run then around. he hits sideways, yeah. Yeah, so that, get, that gets you two okay. squares forward. But there's still, you know, you still need then somebody to blitz and somebody and to fill. And I don't have that, yeah. Yeah, but... If this was a gutter runner, you could totally do it. If it was a gutter runner, you could do it with, with uh, how many players? Yeah. Six players here. You could even do it with five players on a touchback or whatever. So, yeah, totally doable if you had, uh, you know, if you had a totally different team. <laughs> <laughs> Human shit confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all they're hey, look they're in the top six of the uh, season finals right now, but uh, they're pretty shit. Okay. You know maybe what you would just need a touchback for it, so that'd be the yeah. requirement. I would need my thrower to be up here, wouldn't he? I well, I mean you can't. I just think you can't do it now because I think you need yeah. one more player. If you could do it with one more player, I think, and a touchback and a quick snap. <laughs> so you need a lot of things to go right, mm -hmm. but uh, I think that's just about not possible. No touchback mm -hmm. and a pitch invasion. Um, that does nothing. <laughs> oh no, oh, yeah. <laughs> knock my ogre over. Woohoo. So yeah, yeah no. It's I... like he would have gone there. These guys would have wrapped around to here, mm. right? Yep. And then the ogre would have hit this way. Yep. For a and push, then... pushing the catcher forward. Yep. And then, and then he would have pushed and got it the second push. 
Oh, yeah, and then that was the second, yeah. And that would have been enough, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's three squares in. So yeah, it was it was yeah, it was totally doing one quick. Oh my god, I forgot that the quick snap would have got him a square forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that would have totally put him in range, yeah. So it was doable on a quick snap. Quite easily. So this was just the perfect amount for it to be doable on a quick snap and, and it was set up perfectly. So there you yeah. Go. Yeah, well done. Very nice. Very nice. I totally <laughs> I don't yeah, I see how that at, at first when you were explaining it, I was like, what? But then I didn't realise the sideways hit. That was really pretty snazzy, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then it would only have needed the thrower to pick up the ball and make a pass, right? Oh, but yeah, look at that, Jim. Action. Look at that. I forgot to declare it. It wouldn't have worked. <laughs> <laughs> this is great when you become like the best one turning coach on Blood Bowl 3 and then never fucking declare the pass. <laughs> What a shit, what a shit thing. I hate that. That's the, yeah. what, fifth time now? I've forgotten to... Yeah, that's, that's pretty... It's a, I mean, it's a shit mechanic in the game, right? Yeah. I don't have one, Flippery, I don't have one. I, uh, I did a, a Movement 7 one turn, like, on PlayStation and put that on YouTube, but I haven't, I actually, I actually haven't done a one-turning guide, so honestly... If we if we were to practice one turns, there there could be some good content there. Yeah, Doggo's so chill. Turns. Yeah, he's just chilling in the back. <laughs> he's watching. <laughs> he's watching the stream. Glorious, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Koda. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, thanks for the games, Jim. That was fun.